So Susan G. Komen um, was started on a promise that Nancy Brinker made to her dying sister, and in 1982 that promise became Susan G. Komen for the Cure. Uh, so we're actually made up of a, a network of over 120 affiliates across the nation, um, and we're the Dallas County affiliate. So we started the very first Race for the Cure that created the entire series, which is now a global event. So we actually reached out to Pride staff last year with Amy Lynn and talked to her about coming on board and helping us out. And They actually stepped up and they've given us a little over $15,000 in in-kind services by providing um, temporary staff for us throughout race season to kind of help alleviate some of those uh, stress points for us. As if that wasn't enough, they actually created uh, a race team on their own and fundraised uh, almost $4,000. We focus on raising funds to, to fund local breast health resources within Dallas County that help support women who are either uninsured or underinsured get the health care access that they need. There's a lot of call volumes coming in, lots of uh, extra work, and just we really needed somebody who was going to be able to work under that pressure and continue to give the best care to our supporters that are, are calling in. So to see that evolve now to be this huge event where we have over 22,000 people come each year and it's our signature fundraising event, it's been pretty incredible. It's really helped us just kind of give more back to the community because that's something that we're not having to cover again because they're donating it so it really helps us in our mission to end breast cancer.